35-year-old Jose Vanguardia has been delivering hot dogs within Southern Luzon for 15 years. For a long time, he had to endure four hours of travel from Calamba in Laguna to Molino in Cavite. But since the opening of the Muntinlupa Cavite Expressway, Jose's trip now only takes about an hour. Ang garahe namin dito sa, ano eh, sa Molino, may matrapit po pag nagsukat pa kami. Ah. Yeah, mas madali po dito. The MCX is one of three infrastructure projects built under President Aquino's Public-Private Partnership Program. The other two are the Automated Fare Collection System and Phase 1 of the PPP for School Infrastructure. However, many other projects are in the pipeline. Only 14 out of 51 proposed infrastructure projects have been awarded to contractors. Some projects are facing legal hurdles, such as the modernization of the Philippine Orthopedic Center. PPP Center data shows the administration only spent less than a fourth of its potential. Outgoing PPP Chair Cosette Canelao says the implementation of PPP projects is not an easy task. There are 27 steps before a PPP project can be implemented, from the project preparation, submission of bid documents, opening of bids, and the awarding to the contractor. This alone can take three years to complete. She, however, assures the completion of two remaining PPP projects will not be jeopardized. These are the Phase 2 of the Naia Expressway and the PPP for School Infrastructure Project. I'm leaving a strong institution in PPP Center. The, the people monitoring it in PPP Center will still be there. She suggests the next PPP chair should be part of the President's Cabinet. This is to make the implementation of PPP projects faster. She is also calling on Congress to pass the PPP Act before Aquino steps down. Then it will become faster, the implementation, meaning the decision-making, the tender process. Meanwhile, a director for the International Finance Corporation says the next administration should continue implementing the PPP projects left in the pipeline. If not, investors might be discouraged from doing business in the Philippines. Investors in infrastructure typically come in for 15, 20, 30 years and one of the reasons a lot of countries may not be successful in this space is whenever a new administration or government comes in, if they change policies and the way things are done, that leads to investors actually exiting countries and not wanting to invest. The IFC says building more PPP projects could be one of the keys for the Philippines to achieve inclusive growth. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.